Students have been distance learning for weeks now. Nakaya Carrero spoke with an administration from Scranton Schools about how they were ahead of the game when it came to preparing for this statewide school closure. It's hard to believe that what started with one person two months later becomes a worldwide pandemic. Scranton Public School realized that they needed to create a plan as the virus continued to spread. Well, we live in a small world where people travel across the globe more frequently and faster than ever before. So it wasn't a matter of if we would deal with this virus, just a matter of when we were going to deal with the virus. So sixth grade teacher Christy Olson said it was her daughter who was working as an English teacher over in Japan that made her realize this pandemic would soon reach the U.S. and even North Dakota. Well, then Japan closed their schools about the end of February. And so, you know, we tried and kind of waited to see what she was going to do. But that kind of got discussions going for us. You know, what would happen if that came here? The talk led to action and staff over at Scranton Public School started implementing the technology in their everyday curriculum to prepare in case schools were ordered to close. So we started that in February. We had a target date of March 11th to be completed and ready to roll out. And the most, the most important thing to me in that scenario is that our students would have time to practice using the platform. Other school districts anticipated to get back in the classroom at some point, but Scranton Public Schools wanted to make sure they had a plan in place if that didn't happen. So they made sure every student had a device and access to the internet at home. And so that first week was a lot of trial and error. Some things didn't work. We couldn't um, get everybody on at the same time. As students and teachers are becoming accustomed to this way of learning, Scranton staff says they can't wait for the day that they can be back in their classrooms. Reporting for KX News in Scranton, I'm Nakaya Carrero. The school district teamed up with Consolidated Telecom to make sure every student had internet access from home.